Okay guys, so we're gonna learn how to do the triple kickflip today. Before you learn this trick, you're definitely gonna wanna know how to do the double kickflip. So maybe check that video out before this one. Even though it's only one more flip than the double, it's a pretty, pretty advanced trick. Uh, not a lot of people do that one. It's a little bit scarier. And uh, I'm here to give you some tips on how to make it a little bit easier for you if you wanna learn how to do it. Whenever people hear my name, they kind of correlate myself to the triple kickflip. So uh, I, I, I'm here to give you some advice and some tips on how I do that one. For one, I gotta let you guys know, I can't do this one on flat ground. I have to have a drop or a stair set or something to do this off. So if you guys can't do it on flat ground, that's okay. I think I learned it off a loading dock when I was younger. So if you need that extra height, it's all good. No one says you have to learn it on flat ground. So for the triple kick flip, you gotta flick a lot harder. As I was saying earlier, for the double flip, you put your foot down a little bit lower than the normal kick flip. So for a triple flip, put it down even lower than the double flip, the front foot. The back foot is still about the same. Kind of, well I put it right like in the back pocket there. But my front foot, so say this is a double kick flip right here. For triple, I probably put it down right about there. And then just pop, and then do that little flick down. Not everyone has to do that, you can flick out. But I'm just saying personally for me, when I flick down, it helps get that extra flip. So pop, flick, kind of try to time it out perfectly so it doesn't go rocket. And uh, that, that's really about it. Some common mistakes I've seen with people who have tried triple kick flips. Like I said, they under rotate it, they land primo. I remember when I was learning them, I landed primo a lot trying to learn them. But over the years, I kind of just figured out the right timing and got pretty consistent with it. And anyone can get consistent with it if they want to. It's just, uh, a little bit more scary of a trick to, uh, to, to master than, you know, some of the more basic ones. You know, when you do the trick, you want it to have a flat flip like that. Rocket is when it kind of goes a little inverted like that. Gets a little sketchy. Um, Kind of to prevent that trick, you gotta you gotta wait a little bit more on the flick. You gotta wait for your back foot to come up to stop flicking because that happens. The rocket happens when you uh, when you're done flicking before your back foot even comes up. So basically, it's all about the timing in the pop and the flick. So yeah, there's a, a larger margin for error on this trick because you're very, very close to the ground when it's the, when the trick is completed. You don't, you don't really get that uh, that that gratification of catching it in the air and being ready to just stomp it. You kind of just hope it goes all well. If you can catch it, you know, super high in the air, props to you. That's amazing. But personally, I can't do that. 
over time, my main thing is I've just worked out timing it perfectly. Now I'm thinking about it, it's kind of crazy. Um, it's almost like a math equation to me. I kind of, whatever I may be skating or doing the trick down, I kind of size it up, look at how tall it is. And then going off of that, I kind of just estimate how hard I have to flick the board in order to not over flip it, not under flip it, just get that perfect amount of flip right before I hit the ground. So yeah, that's, uh, anyone who's ever asked me, how do I triple flip downstairs? I've kind of just told them that. I just, it's all about the timing. And also if you have good eyesight, that helps as well because you need to, you need to pay attention to how many times your board is flipping and when to just, you know, I, even though it is, you're gonna be stomping it very close to the ground, you still do need to know when it's time to stomp the trick and not to just let it keep flipping because then you might end up primo, you might end up upside down, you might do a quad flip, who knows? But yeah, just good timing and good eyesight will help you. Uh, another thing I see with this trick is uh, sometimes people to get the extra rotation, you know, they kind of kind of jolt their body in a way that shifts their shoulders and makes the board almost, you know, go like go like a backside flip almost. Um, to prevent that, just you know, my best advice is to just keep your shoulders as straight as possible. Just kind of look straight in front of you, like like there's a target in front of you or something. Like no matter what, just try to stay straight. And um, yeah, um, that's one of the only other errors I've seen with this trick. Okay guys, so I hope you found this tip helpful for the triple kickflip. I hope you're out there, you know, learning it downstairs or maybe even, you know, if you can do it on flat ground, that's awesome, you know, better than me. Uh, tune in next week for the next tip and uh, yeah.